Hello YouTube. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Godwin Daramala and today we'll be discussing on funding. How to start a business without funds. What? Is that possible? Can I begin a business without any funds? That's too good to be true. Don't worry guys, follow me right to the end of this video. First of all, I would like to discuss um, five major factors how people traditionally seek for fun to start their business. Number one is bootstrapping, where you use your personal savings and investment. You invest it into your business. Number two is family and friends. You solicit money from your family and uh, most times they're, more like, they're most likely to help you. Number three, crowdfunding where you reach out to a large number of persons to donate money for your business costs. The fourth is through investors. Walking up to an investor who we invest a sum of money into your business. And the fifth form or factor is that you get loans from banks and financial institutions. Now, when these five factors are not available to you. You don't have savings. Your family are not able to help you. You've tried crowdfunding and it's not working at all. You speak to investors. None of them are willing to buy into your idea. And you've applied for countless of loans. Maybe because you were scared of the interest to pay back or they weren't responding to you. Now, let's get on to how you can begin your business without any funds. Number one, all you need, all you ever need to begin your business is you. Yes, yourself. You are your own greatest asset in beginning any business. So what do I mean that you are your own greatest asset? Number one, you have skills. Number two, you have knowledge. Number three, you have experience. Number four, you have certain resource at your disposal. So these four factors has to do with you, your person. When you want to begin any business, the first thing you need to look at, do you have the skill required to execute that business? And if this is lacking in your life, you go forward, you take a course, you study, you read till you are full of that knowledge, which would transform to become skills. So this is the number one area you need to look at. Your skill, your knowledge, your experience and the resource at your disposal. This would help you to leverage on how you can begin a business. The number two thing you need to have in mind is start from where you are. Don't kill your dreams because there are no funds to execute them big. No, you can begin your business small. You can start from your room. You can start from your home. Start small. And when you begin small, you learn various processes that would in turn make you to become large. So do not neglect the fact that there's a possibility you can thrive when you begin small start small don't wait till you have all the resources don't wait till that special big amount of money comes to you no you begin it with what you have yes it may not look perfect yet yes um there may be various inadequacies but one thing is important you have begun your dream so it is no longer a dream in your mind you are taking conscious steps to make it a reality and that is a good step that is the foundation of beginning any business you sit down you draw your plans then divide it into smaller units so that you'll be able to carry out those small units starting from where you are hurt what you do is to bring out your paper Bring out your pen and write your dream. Make it as big as you want it to be. 
Then you evaluate your life, your skills, your knowledge, the resources at your disposal, and see how you can begin it on a small scale. On a small scale. So this is an art you need to inculcate in order to begin a business without money. The next point of view is be flexible. Flexible, 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 flexible. Yes, be flexible. Don't be static. You have to learn to be flexible. Don't be too rigid. Learn to flow with circumstances that come your way. Learn to go with challenges. You know, find your way to swim through so that it would in turn so that it would in turn favor you and you make profit in your business. So when you begin your business and you are experiencing an obstacle, you have to be flexible in order to overcome such obstacles that may come your way. The next thing you need to do is be patient. Don't be in a hurry to be successful. Don't be in a hurry to become big. No. Give yourself time. Say that to yourself. Let me hear you. Give yourself time. You got it, baby? So, you have to give yourself time. Don't be in a hurry to be successful. When you give yourself time, you won't, you know, have a whole lot of expectation in a short period of time and when you don't meet the target you feel sad do not be afraid to fail don't be afraid to be rejected by people do not be afraid to fail see failure as a process see failure as something you're not doing right so that you can know what you are doing right and get the job done so do not be afraid to fail. Don't, don't let the fear of failure stop you from starting out. Yes, it's not going to be perfect. Yes, there will be inadequacy. But that's how almost every business has began. They began small. And today, they're big. Don't say because of failure, you're not going to step out. No, you have to step out from your comfort zone. It does not matter if you fail or not. Step out. Step out there and live your dreams. Many successful people today had failures in various businesses. The likes of Big Gates, Jack Ma, and a whole lot of persons. They failed several times before they got it right. So the next quality is refuse to give up. Refuse to give up. Be undaunted. Be immovable. Don't, don't let anything shake you off your dream. You have a target in mind. You're going to achieve it. Nothing is going to stop you. That is the mindset you need to have in establishing your business, in becoming successful in whatever you, you want to do. And I want you to know that a lot of persons are going to you know, disqualify you. They would say you, got, you don't have any degree. You don't have any experience, so on and so forth. Refuse to be discouraged. Be your number one motivator. Be your number one believer. Be your number one fan. And you'll see your dream come true. Thank you for tuning in on my channel today. Please don't forget to leave a comment below. I'm going to respond to them. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.